Welcome back to part two of backtesting in trading view. So I made the first video and then I was like, wait, well, there's a lot more things that go into backtesting than just getting the right data and backtesting the right way. When I first started backtesting, I'm not going to lie, I went this way. And then I'm just like, um, okay, uh, fair value gap went in, came off, loss. Um, came here whatever whatever i was thinking i don't know but i wasn't treating it like it's a live market and i wasn't doing it in my time i would take a trade here 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 um so you're not really getting real data and then when you go to trade you're like well i'm losing money what's going on and it's because you didn't you're not familiar with this exact time you're going to be trading every single day got that out of the way now some tools that are going to help you with uh, backtesting. Let me turn off all my indicators. Um, we will be coming out with these soon. I'm still kind of fine tuning them um, just to make sure like the settings and the, the user interface is all sorted out because it's kind of sloppy right now. So I want to make sure once the Discord server comes out, you'll be able to join and get access to all this stuff as well as all my backtesting screenshots I've taken. So. Uh, let me turn off that as well. Okay, so everything's off. Clean chart. So we're still in the back testing. We're June 6th. So two things you're going to want is your long positions. This is kind of your negative positive. Um, that way you can see the pips. Pips you're risking, gaining. Um, risk to reward ratio, which is crucial. Um, all these numbers, I put them all on a spreadsheet when I'm back testing. Uh, that way, I literally have data of am I profitable? Am I losing? If I lose, how many losing trades does it take to take away my profits and all that stuff? That's going to build your confidence in the long run. Uh, and then, same thing, we're going to have a short position. Um, so that way we keep track of the trades. Other tools I use is this. So I mark this off. If I'm back testing and I stop at June 6th and then I'm done for the day, I keep this line on the chart. So tomorrow when I come back, because uh, we're in uh, July now, so it's going to put me back over here. I could close the price so I don't see if it's going up or down and then come back to my purple line and then hit replay so I could start from here. So just pretend we're doing that. Boom. Now we're back to where we left off. So that's helpful. And then mark up the charts as if you're actually trading. So uh, we're looking at this. Blah, blah, blah. Looks maybe like a downtrend, right? So um, we'll mark up. A rectangle depending on how you trade i don't know what strategy you trade with this is how i go about back texting uh, i mark up fair value gaps on the 15 minute chart i'm looking for that to get filled blah 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 okay liquidity was ran here it's kind of relatively equal highs got taken out um and then if i click on this i've saved preset templates you could save it here so I just quickly click like that and now I could easily identify what that line means to myself. Um, and then I also do these, this, I'm not saying this is the high of the day, but um, I have two different lines. So I know what the high and lows of the previous day are. So if I was really doing it, um, it'd be what? like right here somewhere and about right there. I would do this on the daily chart. It's, it's, you just put on the top and the bottom of the weeks of the daily chart uh, candle makes it much easier than kind of eyeballing it here. And yeah, that's about it. So if this was a real trade I was doing or setting up, not saying this is what I would take, but put the stop loss in entry right there. And then I'd be like, okay, yeah, price will probably take out this low. So we got a 2.68 risk reward set up right here. Um, 
I have no idea what price is going to do, but let's just play it just for the heck of it. Okay, we lost. Right? So, and then I'll record it. Like, okay. I lost nine pips on this trade. Uh, do the next trade setup, whatever. And then I also have these arrows that I could put partials on. As if I'm, like, actually trading and taking profit. So, um, say we were taking this long position. Right above, once it broke above here, I would take partials. And then, um, right here, I'd probably take partials again. Oops. And, because uh, I'd probably be targeting for up here, but it never hit. And let's just say uh, I'm done with the trade and I just closed out. So now I can see my entire trade and if i hit my screenshot i could save it um you could copy a link but i just save the screenshots um, that way i always have the data i'm not sure how long they keep the uh the links for so that is back testing obviously there's a bunch more different uh tools over here we'll go into in future videos um but from back testing this is what i use um you could draw if you need to circle and stuff but that is back testing for me watch part one if you haven't already between those two, you are ready to go back test and start testing your strategy. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment some trading view questions you have. We're going to be diving into trading view and then next uh, MT5 before we actually get into the fundamentals of actually trading.